student question. Uh, I'm hitting a big draw. I really like how I'm hitting the ball. I'm hitting it crisp. I'm having a lot of control. It's a lot of fun. But my miss is a big draw or a hook. Now, the big draw or a hook is an indication that you're very close to making the ideal version of this swing. So it's important to recognize this. In your experience of learning and the path that you go through, it's not always just progress, 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 progress in the most obvious of senses where you're just like, well, I hit it better today than I did yesterday. The progress happens in a way where you improve certain things. For example, when you're hitting a hook, it means you're this close to hitting a solid tight draw. You've improved a ton of things, especially if you prior were hitting a slice or hitting any version of an over-the-top swing. Once you're hitting a hook, you've now made huge progress. But I understand how a hook does not necessarily score well. Any shot offline doesn't score well. But you've got to understand, a hook and a slice are not the same things. A 40-yard hook is much better than a 40-yard slice because you're closer to hitting the tight draw. And also because the hook is, is more powerful, so at least that 40-yard hook goes farther. So if you got, you're offline, at least you went offline further, and that could give you an opportunity to, to maybe do something better. I'm not saying that it's necessarily better for your score, but what I am saying is it's an indicator that you're very close to making the ideal swing. Now, in simplest of senses, how can we stop the hook? Well, the whole purpose of this swing, right, we get the weight to the forward foot so we have solid contact, and the shoulders are closed so we have an inside-out swing path. Well, if you're hooking the ball, something is slightly off. Your shoulders aren't closed enough or your weight isn't all the way onto your forward foot. So I want to give you this uh, way of fixing the hook, and it's, a really, it's, a, it's really productive. In the traditional swing, you were taught that if you get too much weight to the left, the ball is going to be blocked out to the right for a right-handed golfer. I want you to block the hook into a tight draw. When you're hitting that hook, you're just not far enough left to fight the hook off into the tight draw. You see, as you fall behind it, the swing path changes and you start to open on it, and that allows the ball to hook. But if you get left and you block that hook, you'll find that the hook turns into a tight draw. So it would be correct to describe this, the shot that I hit as a block draw. I'm blocking a hook into a tight draw. And when you do that, you hit the softest and the, the prettiest version of a draw. So, and, and, and this is actually, this is important too. In the swing that I teach, if you keep your shoulders closed, you force an inside-out swing path. An inside-out swing path makes the ball draw. Now, if you keep your shoulders closed, you can't possibly hit the ball to the left because the ball's got to start off to the right because your shoulders are closed and the ball has to start off to the right. So you can never hit it left. You can never hit the hook. Also, if you keep your shoulders closed, you can never come over the top so you can never hit the slice, which means you can never hit it right. So if you just set and hold your position, you can't hit it left, and you can't hit it right. So you just get it, you get to hit it up your target line. That's one of the most powerful uh, experiences that you're going to have, is where you realize, in the traditional swing, they say you can hit it left, and you can hit it right. Now hit it straight. In this swing, you can't hit it left, if you do it right. And you can't hit it right. So you just hit it up your target line with tight draws.